on the Econo flame boilers, <clears throat> the sheet metal is constructed of galvanized steel. Uh, that is like a, a special galvanized coating that allows us to powder coat the metal. So you have powder, a highly durable finish, powder coated, 400 degree uh, temperature is what it'll take and um, plus it's very impact resistant and rust proof as well because of that galvanium. The boiler itself is constructed out of quarter inch A36 plate steel and uh, which uh, or boiler plate as is also as it's also called which is also which is a very much of a uh, a good product. It's better even than stainless in that it does not crack like stainless will. Our doors are formed and which gives them high strength. They are insulated as well. Behind this circular disc is, a, is an inch of, um, of high temperature insulation which keeps the heat in. And uh, so that way you don't get so much heat outside on the door so it doesn't create a safety issue. If you're burning a waste product like waste oil, efficiency may not be important, but we run into a lot of situations where shop owners do not have quite enough waste oil to take them through a really harsh winter. And so they need to supplement with something like heating oil. And so they really, really appreciate it when they can get, feel comfortable that the efficiency is really, really high. What you will need to supply with the boiler, for, for your boiler, that you don't get when you buy the boiler is a storage tank, pump tank, and uh, also compressed air. So you will need to supply air compressor and a storage tank. And also 20 amp service from a dedicated breaker in your control panel, your service panel. And of course, obviously makeup water, but <clears throat> we do not recommend that customers install their furnaces, these units, in an unheated outdoor shed. Mostly because the cold air that comes through the burner from the outside adversely affects the preheating cycle. And so if you do put a tank outside, which I'll show you in a minute a setup like that, you must have a pump tank inside. So the oil can come from your big storage tank outside come into the warm furnace room and, uh, and be able to sit here for a little bit before the furnace pulls out of that. That way the air in the room is warm plus the oil is warm. If you have, <clears throat> in your mechanical room, you must bring in air exchange. There's an air exchange port right here so that your fresh air can come in and the burner is taking away in the combustion process. That's very important that, that the if the furnace room is not sealed up tight. If that would happen, why well, you would get fire, if you would have something like that, you could get fire burning back into the burner. Another thing that can happen that must be avoided is the boiler must not be in, able to be, I want to say this, the boiler should not be in your shop uh, where <clears throat> it could be subjected to negative draft coming from an exhaust fan. If the exhaust fan is turned on when there's no doors open, it will vent down through the chimney. It'll pull everything down through the chimney, pull the fire right back through the burner, and then melt all the wires down. And it just can't happen. So if you have an exhaust, if your boiler is in your shop, in a room that has an exhaust fan, you must have a louver so that, and the exhaust fan must be an inter, have an interlock switch so that the louver, the fan cannot run unless the louver is wide open. Otherwise, you will burn up your burner and it could create a fire actually in your shop. You can lose more than just the burner. Very important. 